Inferno has looked good. The odds have been softened a little with that 16-6 turnaround. But it's time to see exactly how. How good is that Inferno defense for Na'Vi? The T-side pistol for the French. Nivera, of course, joining the roster for this map. Let's see if the super sub can keep those stats high. You worked out an average of his uh, performances, Chad, and we'll talk about it in game. a bit. 22, damn, okay. And Electronic, he hears a lot. And he'll be tested. What a great shot into Masuta. He will not be able to deal with RPK. Boomich with a CZ. It's a perfect weapon for the job, and he's managed to keep the bullets expended minimal. Quick burst. Plant. Those nades won't work where they were one of them. Might have to use that to the bike position in pit because Simple has one as well. Flamey on the oh. flash. This is clean from Boomich's CZ. He's caught another. The nades are going to hurt. They're looking for Zaiwu. He's evaded the first. Simple's lined up another, and Boomich beheads him. Zaiwu, what are you made of? They're closing him from every angle. There's no way in. And a quick tap from the USP. Boomich gets three in the round, though. All credit to him. I want to make a bit of a note right there. Boomich is traditionally the one dropping the pistols across to Simple to allow him to go for the P250s or the CZ75s. This time around, Simple's actually dropped it to Boomich. So uh, Boomich gets three kills off the back of that. Huge impact felt. Only $100 per kill, so I might feel a little bit hard done by with that one right there. But the impact, that's what matters. The bomb goes down, and you see him getting fired up. <laughs> Haven't seen it. Oh, that from Boomich in a while. We know that Na'Vi throughout this year have been struggling with online and the fact that they don't have their teammates oh, yeah. around them. We've heard that out of their mouths a bunch of times, but it feels like everybody getting it towards this tail end of the year has understood. Online Counter-Strike is here to stay for the foreseeable and you may as well get fired the bloody hell up. Yeah, I mean, you've got to find that energy somehow. You've got to Look enter that this. competitive flow state. Deep banana smoke and a molly as well. This is two AK-47s, two Galils, and the Scout. Vitality are going to put the brakes on for the whole start of this round. Don't take any damage to the utility. Make sure they're expending their mollies and their smokes. Once you get rid of that, you can take the map territory and start bullying your way in against these SMGs. It's four of which, and one Famous for electronic. Every so button rush, I see. Every single button rush is just pressed is a Navi member throwing a nade. So in terms of pulling out that utility, there's still much more to be done. There's three smokes on this CT side. A little bit of lo uh, banana pressure might pull the flash out of Boomich. He's just taken... A warning shot from the scout. He needs to be very careful here because if he gets isolated, it is just that SMG of Perfecto in rotation. He has a grenade. smoke. And the smoke grenade likely to be dropped. Perfecto, if you can hold on to it every second that passes with it still in your grasp, is power. Okay, they've Vera, lost careful, control. brother. Bit solo now with the bomb on his back. RPK was there to keep him safe. They do gather up to take brackets. And with no vision, they've actually cheated Ooh. a third man towards B. So this is the gap right now. Vitality are going to exploit it, taking the rifles good at range around long. This is a good chance. A good chance to punish Simples out of position. With it only in a UMP as well, it'll be difficult for him to contribute from library side once they're past library. That's a perfect smoke. He'll have to push through it. Could still do damage. Zywoo does draw blood. Here comes Simple. The punish. The spray's all right. Zywoo's managed to find him, though. A flash from Electronic. If he can find another, Nivera bails him out. A chance for Perfecto as he peppers Apex. No armor on him with that scout. Nivera could be in a very dire circumstance here. Has the perfect weapon for the job. Apex desperately trying to do as much damage as he can to set Navira up for success. It's not easy for Na'Vi to get back into this, though. A kit here between the two of them. They're running low on time. And that's the info. That's the tag. Navira tucked in. The last of their util as well. Should be the frag for Navira. Needs a second. Clean headshot necessary. No time for Perfecto. And just tucking in is the winning move. Navira's confirmed it. It's a triple kill for him. The Belgian posting the first round for Vitality. Two days back to back, Navira has been instrumental in their force by their second by rounds. This time, doing it with a teammate. Yesterday, he had to pull off a bit of a clutch, but this is here, just staying stoic, not over peaking, not giving anything away, and converting that kill gets them back on the board early. Oh Coach, they're over their shoulder. So many eyes. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels like Lan. I saw a message yeah. me. Someone tweeted me during the break. I had a look, suggesting that perhaps they're filling that room with as many as they can just to kind of replicate that Lan feeling. And the uh, been an idea. He's a little, little layout spawn. Yeah, he, he had to get dropped the pistol there towards the tail end. So he got the, the bum end of that whole round. But regardless, Vitality are bouncing back against the force by of Na'Vi. They've opted in with five smoke grenades with those upgraded pistols. So keep your eyes on how long they can hold on to them. Flash on over for some indication. Boomich, they're already passed. And that's going to force out the smoke early. That was just sub 130 seconds. So this one here is going to dissipate with a minute still left on the clock. And that's drawn out the rotation of Simple again. They want to go through, they're going in. Yeah, this is a nice pace. There's some rotates, but oh. the shot from Navira 
You give him a tech nine and he'll give you an entry frag. Bomb to be planted. After plant from Banana. We know zywu has got his lineups for the uh, smoke defuse. We learned that in the heroic game. Okay, well, Simple's just hanging around to see if he can snatch himself away one of these upgraded weapons. But all in all, the other three members of Na'Vi have already called the save. You've got them tucked in towards A, and while the smoke's still up, looks like Simple will be trying to get out of dodge. Holding on to this to have another crack with it in the next round, Na'Vi will be thanking their lucky stars, Vitality not chasing. And that was one of the keys the other day for Vitality against Heroic was just how stringent they were, not giving away rifles, not allowing Heroic to have any look-ins. And they'll all survive, all five of which down banana. Bomb will go off. And the second round on the board for Vitality. Now, the confidence you're going to get from that overpass map win, that was way too oh, easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shocks with a huge performance. He's now on the bench, and the rest of them need to step up and carry that momentum through. There's a reverse sweep possible here today, and Na'Vi, well, they fell to Astralis in similar fashion. EPL season 12 grand final. They even started with a map advantage, and Na'Vi still lost that series. Is uh perhaps starting to be circulating in the Na'Vi camp. The thought at least crossing their mind. They've gone for an early stack B. Going to be seeing three players lean that direction early. Vitality's intentions clear from their positioning. At least initially, they plan to take apps. Full 25 plastered into the apartment's walk up. And even more so, Apex wants to make damn sure there isn't a CZ on that corner. And there isn't. There can't be. And they've got apps now, and they might even force out the smoke of Electronic. He's holding on to it, but will drop it. So, pulling out the util. Na'Vi on a conservative buy. Just a second bite of the cherry. It was previously a very practically flawless Vitality B finish. I love the way that they exploited that against the Antico as well, right? That timing, smoke came in top banana, and then they executed through it. That means Na'Vi have to be aware of similar plays when they get into the gun rounds. And now with a minute left on the clock, boiler control, halls control. It's by the book. Yeah, they're taking their time here, but Simple wants some information, and this may give Na'Vi enough of an idea to rotate back towards B. The first man over will be Flamey. He's being told to rotate now. Simple's cleared brackets, but it might be too late. They're setting up the B execute now. 40 seconds, they're going in. Yeah, Boomich is going to hope for the close angle, and it likely should be checked by Masuta. The perfect weapon for the job. Busts open the door. RPK converts onto Perfecto, meaning this round should be done and indeed dusted. There's only a Deagle. Single smoke. There is one behind enemy lines in Flamey, but he's made that very clear as he fires all seven into the smoke. Trying to retreat now. Vitality, they have kept this one absolutely pristine. That's good find from Navira there. Trying to get out of dodge was Flamey. He would have held on to that armor. That would save his investment. Maybe give him a couple more nades going into the next because it will be 2,400 as the loss bonus. Navi are going to be going into their first gun rounds. A little bit hamstrung. Won't have all the goodies they require. Might be short a kid or two. As Vitality again, even with Masuda taking that heavy damage in the early stages of the round, will survive with all five. Starting to build a bit of a bank now. That's the way you like to see it on the T-Halves. Most of their players well and truly above that 5k mark. <sighs> this is picture perfect This is more stuff. than we could have dreamed of for the grand final in terms of just the initial resistance here from Vitality. It looked like Na'Vi had come in with exactly the same level of form that their semi-final boasted. A near unstoppable T-side on Nuke. Plus two, again, posted by Na'Vi with some simple showings unlike anything we've seen in a grand final in recent memory. And now Vitality not only finding overpass convincingly, but starting off here on Inferno with a bang. They're going straight towards A. They fake the banana control with the deep smoke, but they're going towards A very, very quickly Boost. here. Yo, this is interesting. Electronic with the M4 against an AK. There was still an advantage, but as Simple arrives, I hesitate to say that. Dropping off. Vera through the smoke. Electronic pays a heavy price, but Flamey still could lock the door behind them. They're charging in. They've got all the CTs in all the right places. Simple's not looking. And Electronic's fallen too. Zai was just taking them both out. Flamey. There's a real pace to this. There's a real chance here to do some serious damage. And Flamey's about to pop off. He's got Apex. Doesn't quite finish the job, though. Had him in his crosshairs. And the chance is starting to dwindle. Boomich with only a FAMAS. They got a flash and a smoke. Yet to see Perfecto fill the feed. He has been a crucial third star, really, in their fragging and their victories so far. 
Ned is backing away again. It's the same old story. Vitality with just too much control and too many players left standing. Zaiwu's the one to turn that round on its head. Yeah, the player who slipped through the arch side smoke there was uh, the key to that round because you could see there was so much pressure coming in from Boiler right. and mid. And then as soon as they slipped the net, that you can see Na'Vi, their defense is split. They don't know where to look. They get collapsed in on. And it all falls apart in spectacular fashion. Now the fourth on the board, and Na'Vi might need to take a, a full save here, at least one where they allow themselves to get enough money for all of the goodies. This is it. It's just surprising they got so much room, and I believe that was Apex who made the wrap. It's a great play. Oh, he's gone for the full clown setup. Henry G cosplay. That'll be out for Halloween 2021. Be one of the hottest, uh, hottest costumes is again with a bit more aggression. I love the intent from Vitality here, just walking straight up middle. These timings are going to be catching Navi. He's even got a smoke in his hand. I mean, if they were to take this fight, they have, and that smoke's redundant. They're up brackets and electronics boosted with a CZ. I don't fancy his chances here. Apex gets the warning shot, adjusts and executes. Two opening frags, spelling trouble for Na'Vi as they'll ready to wrap into the site. RPK is parked to stop the rotate. Just park your tank in the corner and get that bomb down. Look how thorough they're being. No rats in the system. And it'll be the save. So Na'Vi, not, no options in this one right here just to hold on to what they have. Need to carry that forward. It was... Uh, an interesting little investment from them just there, but knowing that they're getting that max loss bonus into the bank balance ASAP, they can be operating with that, I want to say full gun round scenario. And the problem is they're already being beaten in terms of decision-making by Vitality. Vitality have been very quick to punish their smoke walls. They've been very quick to change the pace and walk up the guts. Right up middle there, just not allowing Na'Vi a moment to breathe. And if they continue to throw in different looks like that, Na'Vi have to start taking more risks. Do we go for fights? Do we have to dump utility early? There's a lot of questions. You want to take control of the game back here as Vitaly were looking for a bit of a chase. They've got themselves CT spawn control in quite an odd looking round as far as the radar is concerned, but they all saved their guns again. Another clean round. That's at least three that we've seen that have been absolutely flawless. Oh my lord, this, the crowd gathering in now is... Everyone has a chair. Everyone's taking, making themselves comfortable. This could be a long night. I wonder how much a ticket costs to that room. Yeah, I wonder. would be cheap. Certainly not. Just to hear the comms, hear the energy. Na'Vi, definitely on the back foot. Simple, probably starting to get into that mindset where he has to be the difference maker. He's on one for two. That's how much they've been saving. We're in our seventh round of play. One kill, two deaths for Simple. Kept honest in the opening stages of Inferno. It has the AWP out now, so that could be the difference maker right here. Electronic can often really completely ruin T-sides from his pit and balcony positions, but Vitality have been really effectively stopping that nuisance from manifesting. I worry about Perfecto on Boomage on B. One of the sites that Vitality were hitting against Heroic time and time again was the B-bomb site. They were getting away with some absolutely murderous rounds, spamming through smokes, the whole bow up blunder. And back towards Banana they go. A minute left on the clock. RPK having a look in. Sandbags is clear. He's going to gobble that flashbang if he's not careful. I think he might... Oh, he's tucked by the half wall. They'll call it clear on the flash at least. Intent towards A right now. They still have a bucket load of utility they to work with. still haven't got the info B. RPK's joined the pack and they still haven't pulled the trigger on that flash for info. This is an explosion. Yeah, it's going. Pure blind. And Electronic is blind. They've jumped past him. Wow, simple and Electronic have dealt with it. Drops down. Mission accomplished. Navira on the balcony. Lost. Trying to find simple. Has done so, but peppered and finished off. Oh. RV take the round by force. Electronic dealt with with three frags. Recovers the orb for simple as well. He handles that with a real affinity for the balcony position. They dropped off and he just holds his nerve. Yeah, both teams did a great job of holding on to utility here. There was 35 seconds left on the clock when those kills were going down and there was still a bunch of smokes in play. You can see how messy it's getting here. And Electronic even picks up that AWP for Simple who found a couple himself. Now they're back in it. They found the first gun round. They need to string a few more together. Vitality have been able to build quite the bank within the early stages of this one. RPK dropping the smoke on himself so the mollies can't do it. Well, exactly that. Extinguished. RPK gets a lot of space. Denies them the utility damage. Reluctantly recedes. Boomich on the flash. 
He often does a lot of damage here. Nade looks good. Hits Apex down to 46. Boomich really wants banana info and wants to hold on to it this time. Yeah, I, I worry about these hits from Vitality coming into dissuading them and holding them back from banana for as long as possible is very important. But now up middle, Zaiwu gets the chance to entry. It's flaming over towards Arch side. The AWP is repositioned now. Brackets control granted. Nobody from Navi is really in a position to retake this. Long worked before. Now, Flamey can really just don't shoot and fall here. He's been smoked off. Mid to B is a problem. Sprays Masuta on the walk up. They can tuck into the site. Zai was already taking a lot of space CT. Yeah, look at Boomich and, and Perfecto on B. They're going to be in a lot of trouble very soon. It is the B split. Yeah, Flamey. He is in library. He's being held by Masuta's arch position. Boomich and Perfecto are about to be tested from two very different angles. And that's Masuta's positioning paying off. Getting awkward now. There's even more. Masuta can join them for the push, and Navira's parked as well. Now they advance. Perfecto. Hasn't been found. They'll surely sweep him, though. Second orange is the prime position. Catches one by surprise. A big adjustment. Perfecto. A hero round required, but it's not enough. And the round is converted. Vitality will take it. Masuta with some crucial fragging as well, controlling that rotate. I love what Vitality brought to the table there. Yeah, Flamey having to look in there. And the problem is when you have no information, you lost brackets, you lost top banana. If you lose mid to B as well, the isolation of those rotations is so difficult and simple getting caught there. Just back turned, having to rotate towards B, trying to help out as quick as he can, but it's not going to happen as Vitality looking very, very good. And the smiles, there's a clear shift. They managed to get the morale back in the camp. Yeah, we wondered if it had been lost. Clearly now that's been answered. And money is good for Boomich and Perfecto. So there might be some discussions right now of a hero AWP. There it is. They're working this buy out. Electronic into a Famous. Rifles are being dropped across. Simple. A lot of pressure on his shoulders here, though. Needs to make that all work. And losing ground right there, they can't let that happen again. They're operating with less utility this time round. They will have to take some more forward fights. That might see a different setup from Na'Vi going into round number nine. And here's Simple's aggression. Nobody wanted to face this, and most likely they would have a flash. Banana control. The pressure again. Nades back and forth. Oh, nukes towards the top of sandbags. Boomage loves to play that position, this time not getting caught out there. And Apex is actually ahead of this. He might have an entry. This is a ballsy maneuver. And with style, Apex executes Boomage, forces Simple's hand. He has to rotate, fill the gap. Perfecto's already expended his smoke. One blooms in mid as well. Taking up space. Flamey under scrutiny. Electronic joins him on quad. Vitality gather their resources and plan to flood through middle. Smoke start to fly. Long, pre again, not held. And that's where they're going. Could very well be again with this long wrap. Smoke on the arch, flamey on graveyard. It previously worked for Electronic. And again, it's a gap, but temporarily, Electronic, oh, phenomenal he hold. He needs to survive. Apex hunts him down, and now there's so much space. They can get the bomb down, stretch their legs. Crucial frag from Apex, stopping it from spiraling. Electronic does everything you could ask of him. No kit, time's a problem. They don't have a smoke, though. Gives Na'Vi a little bit of sight onto the A site. RPK. He's taking a gamble by being such a forward position. And Apex is playing with fire. He's actually swung into it. Draws their fire, rotting the clock. No kits. You're bang on. It's getting awkward for Na'Vi now. Save. They have to save. They're running out of chance. Simple just has to back away. Perfecto tucks in. RPK needs to make sure he evades the bomb blast. Pit would work. And that's what Perfecto's thinking too. He'll at least stop him. But I mean, that is practically insignificant. Practically redundant. They've got so much cash. Max money for Apex pre-buy. It's time uh, for Na'Vi to take the game by the balls. Right? Seven to two. They need to take some fights. They need to get stuck in. They're losing a lot of territory here. Yeah, I mean, I, it, I think it might hinge on the fact, and you kind of hinted at it, this frag here from Apex is an embodiment of it. Boomich typically is much more proactive on Banana. How many times in a Na'Vi Inferno CT side are we cutting to him just jump in the half yeah. wall, throw in a deep smoke, charging down there with an MP9? He's not been able to do any of that. And their persistent utility towards that sandbag position has completely locked him out of it. And therefore, they're in the dark so often.
Feels like Simple's never in the right place as well in this Bingo. type of a game. Because they don't have the info they typically do. Yeah, and the real problem with Inferno is once you lose that banana control and lose brackets control, there's nothing that you can do with this. And with him on the AWP, there are avenues to go for picks, but they have to be more mid-round. If he starts early round going aggressive, might be getting nuked out by some nades. And you can see here the scores on the doors. There's uh, four players with only three kills so far for Na'Vi. That's Boomich, Perfecto, Simple, and Flamey, all only operating with three. It's Electronic with nine, but it's only two rounds. Vitality have really taken control of this. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little convinced. I'm feeling a little French myself. Be good fashion to do it in. Four grand finals so far. You've lost them all. The fifth one you come into, you're down two maps, and you come back and you reverse sweep Na'Vi. Na'Vi with a Simple in premium form. Kept honest by the French here. Look how quick it is. A minute 25 and they already have... Yeah, it's a lot of control. pressure. Like, seeing Na'Vi flustered. Finally, they've got some banana info, but it's at the cost of Simple. They'll park him on the half wall. This is a different flavor. RPK typically holds banana, but you can see how passive he's done it this time. He's actually on T-steps. Another smoke pulled out early. Brackets is still under French rule. Well, Simple's dropped off. He's actually looking. And the flash comes first. They deny it. This is very, very clinical. The nade's on to his face. He has to respect it, backs away. And again, no info. You have to rotate a player in. Boomich is the one to do so. If you pull his smoke out of his hands as well, that's nuts. They still have mid control this whole time. Navi can't even try and fight the this. The BXEC, two smokes of landing. That might even get Perfecto nervous. Boomich needs info. He's in transition. He's backing away. They're coming up long now. Four of them gathered. Perfecto, what do you got? Good flash, Zaiwu gets it despite that. And now into the site, Flamey hoping for a one tap, hasn't found it. And it's just a flurry of brown on blue. Vitality set for an eighth. This arch pressure time and time again is how they found rounds, how they found success. This and is simple great. again, wrong place. Like what's he meant to do? All they need, oh, they're even hunting. Could be an AK, it could be even another kill. Nivera's got one dead. HP. Simple has lost out. Oh, and Nevera actually manages to keep hold of all of his goodies. This is clinical. It is. Vitality, eight. Na'Vi, two. The super sub, by the way, fresh as a daisy, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready for Inferno, has come up with nine to four, and he's been sitting there for a while. Early contributions from Nevera noted. Apex actually getting a wall bang and Misuta with a one-tap. So the individuals are for firing on all cylinders. And the Renault HQ for Vitality getting a little louder. Timeout time? Oh, uh, yeah, lots of typing going on right now. So it looks like a bit of a tech pause will be called. Okay. Now we have uh, two timeouts remaining by my tracker. Yeah, we've just had one player drop from the server here. So hopefully not too long before we get him back in so we can keep this game going. But the way that Vitality are running away with this, it might be another quick map. They did a great job on overpass of punishing Na'Vi and they're doing it again here. I feel like if we start discussing some options because Na'Vi's money is in that weird limbo state and the scoreline at eight to two, we're not operating with too many rounds left in this first half. So they need to start taking the fight to Vitality and being able to earn a couple of early kills. The problem is if they go for some of these three-man B leans and they push all the way down, they're taking territory, they're dropping Molotovs and smokes. You can see Vitality more than happy to just like, yeah, have banana, that's fine. We'll go take mid control. And the problem has been that arch side. So we need to see some more of these stacks out of the CTs, maybe boost up on porch, get back up on that balcony where we saw electronic in earlier rounds with the CZ and actually fight as a team for some positions because Na'Vi are sitting in the back of the bomb sites. They're getting executed on. Arch side is being used, which means electronics not getting spray downs towards yeah. quad or out halls. They're taking the path of least resistance and opening up these rotations. They know how skittish simple is. He likes to rotate to help out those B defenders when they're getting bullied and they have been. So everything from Vitality now is working perfectly and we're talking about their CT side. We might not even need to have to see it. No, I'm actually uh, very intrigued to see the stats from SEO. He's been doing some digging. He's apparently sent them through. I'm looking for the results now. We'll be able to find out exactly what the most kills in a best of five are. He's gone through most of the best of fives he could find over the last six years. So it's going to be interesting to see how that compares to the start Simple got off to. All right, looks like Flamey's back in the server now. So we should be getting this one back underway. It's good to have SEO out there with his little miner's hat on, digging away, looking at... Uh... <laughs> He says he's, nuggets of gold. he's lying. Can't find it, but all the same. We'll get into our 11th round. Simple on a AWP as always. Yet to do too much with it. 
He's been trying that mid-peak and Vitality give him nothing. It does feel like Vitality's got this incredibly potent mix of feeling like they're getting control for free early, but also keeping the AWP looking for early peaks are honest. Yeah, and now this buy from Na'Vi going into round number 11 is three SMGs, and they have three players heading towards Banana. If they go for this quick control, let's see the response from Vitality here. Simple's flashed up. He's off the line. He's forced back already. The smoke towards Arch, the molly towards quad side. Electronics playing in front of that because they know they need info, and he needs Simple's backup now because there's five Vitality players coming. Yeah, Electronic, what have you got? Oh, a great spray, double. One more from Simple, and he's found it. Onto Apex, Boomich's flank is good, and the Dink is better. He's actually done long-range damage to Nevera. It practically takes him out of this round. As he swings oh! into Simple. What am I doing? Nevera changes my mind. Very low HP, though. Flamey, surely, from the off angles. Catches him in transition. It's RPK to clutch. Yup, he's not known to clutch, but he's done it here. At least made it winnable. He's got room to move. Can't be. And move he will, all the way to the other side of the map. Boomich. Last spotted T stairs. RPK's taken the gamble. He's charging with his shadow daggers out. Straight to the B site, and he will have time to plant a one versus three from RPK. It's on the menu. Bomb goes down, gets considerably more difficult for Boomich. A smoke in the kit. He's not even grabbing an AK, he's just keeping the MP9. Okay, God, he's opted for emo. Boomich has got so many options ahead of him. Is it construction? Banana, pushed up tree. He's answering as many of these questions as fast as he possibly can. Loud, deliberate. He's faked the steps and he catches him by surprise. What a play. RPK just puts himself in jeopardy from the loud footsteps of Boomich. But it's enough to bait him into the angle and it's favorable for Boomich from there. Big play, denies the clutch, puts a third on the board for Na'Vi. It's a two on four. Electronic does so much work. Simple comes in to help things out and then Nevera cracks his skull and it's just these MP9s. This seems so winnable for Vitality in every moment. Look at this. RPK just swinging around, even coming out of the smoke, still gets the better of Flamey. Well played from Boomage here, but it doesn't feel like much of a constellation knowing you're going through with uh, only that one rifle picked up. The Lost yeah. Burners has been building. They'll be able to cobble something together. Famous is again, really not great. Look at you go. RPK has run into his own smoke. I think they've upgraded the tank. It's a bit more mobile these days. Yeah, I don't know what tracks he's running, but it's definitely got some speed on it. And you can see Boomich has no idea. The nade actually bounces off RPK's face. Maybe he does now. <laughs> the trajectory changed. I heard something. They're just going for a straight B execute here. Look at this. All five in banana early. Oh, lordy. And Navi, none the wiser. Another different look. Perfecto's incendiary could cause some damage. He'll drop it. They all have to charge through it. And combined with the spray of Boomich, they found a frag. A 5v4. Advantage CT. Advantage oh, continues to grow. Boomich finds another into the site, though. Smoked off. They'll rotate through. The stop molly's not going to stop the plant. Neither will the spray. Nevera and Zaiwu asked to clutch. A re-smoke of CT. Needs space from somewhere. Where does that space get found, though? Nevera, do you want to take some liberties? He seems to be pushing into the fight. He does find a one-for-one. One. It may not be enough. Zywu has to come up 1v3. He's on new box. They know a rough idea as to where he is. A great shot. <gasps> Nearly electronic as well. Na'Vi for Vitality 8. They are sealing this gap. It's by the skin of their teeth, though. Yeah. You see how poorly distributed these CT <laughs> rounds have been. That's the first consecutive rounds we've seen from Na'Vi this half. Bring up that round recap if you can. You'll see this dominant slew of rounds from Vitality that starts us off. Five off of the break, off of that second round win. Nevera's 3k gets them started, and they build on that. And so does he. 12 frags for Nevera so far alongside Zaiwu. He's got themselves a second star of the show, and he only shows up when he needs to, like any good wizard would. And he's still great for Vitality here. They're going to be sitting pretty for the tail end of this half. Round number 13. Back nades on Boomich. Yeah, he's definitely opted away from that position. So those nades a little bit wasted. Boomich mixing it up. It's good to see. But utility already skimped right now for Na'Vi. Just operating with a couple of smokes and flashes. It's going to come down to these rifles again. We're at 125. Having to rotate over towards B is flamey already. They're taking a gamble right here, and it's the right call from Na'Vi. They're leaving the two stars towards A, fortifying the B defense. It looks like Vitality is setting up for the same execute again. 
Drops his smoke. RPK's already found Boomich, though. Not they're going to be the same kind of outcome, especially with Masuta onto Perfecto. Vitality flawless into the site. And that's the round. That's Vitality ceiling nine on this T side in pursuit of an equalizer in the series, a best of five grand finals. And Vitality finding life. So many signs of it here. Could even start the hunt again if they really want to. It's going to be nine to four. There's only going to be two more rounds of play after this. Still a bunch of cash for the likes of Apex, Masuta with AK, Navira with a lot of money. If they hunt now and they put this pressure on and take these rifles away, Navi are going to be working with very little again. You can see there, that round was low on utility. Now it's just these rifles. They need to hold on to these with the loss bonus to make a gun round even possible. They're coming, but I don't think they're going to get there in time. Navi, keeping their heads stuck, keeping their heads down. The mollies are coming in. Electronic starting to burn. And, oh, Flamey goes down. Flamey actually gets taken out there. He's on 2,500 as well. That's actually not too shabby. Yeah, you can see. Look at Shox. Yeah, Shox is clapping that one. You know, it means something. It's pretty weird to see Shox's lower half of his body. <laughs> <laughs> that's what his legs look like. Oh, I haven't right. seen his legs in some time. Okay. Well, that's really put a dampener on Flamey's day. <laughs> yeah, Deagle. It was looking so good, Flamey. It was. Last second push. You can see the Vitality have really kind of put some thought into how they want to handle the hunt. Zywu. Scalps Get too. It's electronic and simple as well. Get him out. Who else but the best? He takes them both. Down and out in middle. I thought the series was going to end in a whimper, but it's far from that. Zywu ignites excitement here in round 14. At least Flamey gets a weapon. Silver linings and all that. Yeah, well, at this point, they're going to have to gamble, Stack, and they are. They've left the B bomb site. They're going to go for this again, and Vitality, if they get into B for free, will opt for the save. But let's see. <laughs> you rolled the dice, Navi. You did it previously. You're unable to get what you're looking for. You're going to need Boomage, Perfecto, and Flamey to step up in a big way. Oh, and don't gamble, Stack A, and then just walk into B. Be very, looks very naughty, wouldn't it? Very naughty. Looks very likely, to be honest. I don't know if Zai was showing signs of slowing. No resistance so far. Hmm. They've still parked. Yeah, okay. So it's all in the ruse here, trying to force these rotations around. Smokes towards B. They might send Zaiwu in just to see who's home. More smokes, more mollies. Still not being shot at. Yeah, he's about to call this completely clear. So the rotation might come over. The bomb is in transition. Still back towards T stairs. RPK has now been summoned. They're even jumping through their own smoke. They are so convinced there's not, nobody home now. But look who's still close towards middle. It's Navira. He doesn't need to go too far away from this. The bomb's about to go down. That 40-second timer will begin, and they can actually start the hunt, and that's already been the conversation. Navira towards second mid. That territory can't be taken for Na'Vi. Pushing towards CT now. You can see the likes of Apex running through their smokes, clearing construction, being diligent about this. There is zero risk in a full hunt here. Last round next. They have nades for this. There's a molly in Zywu's hands. They can molly pit again. Flashes to make this work. This, this hunt is practically for the final round of the half as well. Like 2,900 loss bonus on $50 in your spare pocket. That's crushing if you lose your rifle in Kevlar here. And Vitality, they've got no risk. They're going to practically execute on this save. Zywu does go down to Flamia. Good angle found on Graveyard. Masuta staring at it and finds it. That's one Na'Vi member that will have nothing. And there's more to add to the list. Masuta, he's taking it all from them. He's taken everything they oh, love, everything no. they cherished, and nothing for Na'Vi into the final round of Inferno's first half. Look at that. They won't have a single M4 now unless... Actually, I think it's still 40 100. Oh, 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 oh. Might have to drop a couple for the electronic and simples, but I mean, I tell you now, we just saw what happened to simple electronic to start that round off. I didn't get to see it from Zywu's POV, but he sprays them both down on their mid-aggression. They tried to change the pace on Vitality, and Zywu just says no. Oh, this right here is looking great. Simple just takes a peek. I think they know that they're done, at least uh -huh. in the first half. And going forward is Zywu just oh wants to take God. space. It's electronic on the site. He only has that smoke to operate with. The rest of Na'Vi doing the best they can with very, very little here. And this is looking very, very good. I just love how dynamic it's been from Vitality. There's been a lot of different looks across the board. The way that they punish the smokes. They've exploded as a unit, They're very well prepared with a lot of these executes. This is night and day contrast for how we kicked off the series back on Nuke. Yeah. Boomage up to his usual antics, looking for info, gets more than he bargained for. Two spotted and, ooh, nearly slapped. He gets away, pulls the pin, we'll be dropping that upon contact. Here's the steps up, knows he's lost that close banana. They're taking some liberties here, Vitality. They know they're under-equipped. 
The bomb's still in T spawn, so this is all just, uh... Oops. Not ideal. Yeah, nothing seems to be working for Navi here. I, I feel I said that sentiment with everything was working for them uh, yeah. not that long ago. And now with 40 seconds left, looks like Apex is going to smoke out CT spawn. Oh, no. All right. Indecision in the final stages. I'm not too worried about this one for Vitality. Is if they go towards A, it's going to be a 2 on 5. If they go towards B, it's going to be a 2 on 5. Nice lurk smoke lineup if you're interested in learning. Sets him up for the walkout. Natronic does find his first and a second as well. Quick trades from the French. Flame, he's trying to work on a one way, but he's been spotted. His toes are visible. Ducks down. He finds Zaiwu. That's colossal. They actually are going to struggle to get this bomb down now, especially if Masuta goes oh. down. He does the opposite. He gets them both, and now only Perfecto. It changes hands so quickly. Masuta finding them both on the hunt, and it's only Perfecto's Deagle. He's been really kept quiet, muzzled on Inferno. And now a Deagle, 1v2 feels just out of reach. Apex jiggling for info. Any step, Perfecto takes it to advance his position. Apex will get that info. Does confirm Masuta's position. And Masuta makes it four. 11 to four here on Inferno. Vitality within touching distance of a full five map affair. Well, it sounds and feels like a fifth map. What, what a better way to separate Na'Vi and Vitality. A 2-0 start, everything pointing towards Na'Vi maintaining a form that we thought no one could best. 
but then overpass happened. 12 CT rounds put Vitality in control and converted in the second. We are now here in our fourth map of our best of five grand final for IEM Beijing. Machine and Sponge, the names of us loud mouths. We're into our pistol round. Simple was definitely on track to join the records of most frags in a best of five, but a very quiet first half. Could take him out of contention. Yeah, he's cooling off now. Only five frags so far in this map. Impact not felt in that first half at all. Well, they put a P250 on him, so looking for impact on the pistol, and he stabilizes into Apex. Good control. They've actually done the same, though. They've invested oh, resources oh, oh. into Zaiwu. That's Nevera contributing again. He only gets a couple of maps to flex, so why not flex as hard as you can? Great one tap, equalizes. Looks like it will be the A finish here. Still have this smoke that Simple's been able to pick up off of Boomich's body. He's thrown that out now over towards A. That's going to force Nevera into the site. There's no flash to go with this. It'll be dry. Okay. Hard shots. Masuta's tapped two lovely clean shots. Two of the newest names in Vitality are winning them. The pistol, it's four for Masuta. Methodical from the rookie and what a year he's having. A grand final against Na'Vi and they're now 12 to four up and he contributes in a big way to putting that 12th on the board. Look at these shots. That's clean as you like from Masuta, a confidence booster as well. Oh, magnificent. This is just... Phenomenal turnaround. I, I'm a little bit lost for look words in terms of how this series started to where we're at right now. Yeah, it feels absurd. And it's just going to be Na'Vi eh, down to the pistols. They're not investing whatsoever. They don't want to fight the force by battle. Flamey wants to get out of Banana very quickly. Mollies were great already. Dissuaded. Look what it's given them, though. They get all of Banana, a deep smoke after. Uh, if you're Na'Vi and you're sitting there with a the Deagle on simple, a couple of P250s, and you already have no info Banana, you are feeling a little hard done by. It will be simple to try it. Test his luck. Oh, Zaiwu jumps again. Oh, he adjusts, he adjusts the trajectory. He doesn't want to be too predictable for a crosshair placement like Simples. Vitality is so motivated right now. Everything is thorough. Everything has to be precise. Apex rotates in. It's the right gamble. And cleaning things up. Bombs delivered. Express the shipping straight to middle. And the frags are flowing exactly as they need to. Maybe Electronics got something to do, but Masuta finding another. 16 for a big performance out of him. And the only big performance from the Na'Vi camp this time is Electronic. He's been the one that's kept it competitive throughout. The fact he is the fragging leader of this 13-4 discrepancy in the server as a whole is testament to what he's been able to provide. Navira's on the AWP, baby. It does, it, it does feel weird. Yes, Zywu is in the server, but Navira gets it on that CT side. He'll be taking it A. And we're into a big test for Na'Vi. Should be a formality. Navira taking chances, going straight for the apps info with Misuta. Both of them spurred on by the fragging they brought to the pistol round. And Apex, what are you up to, my dude? Challenges them. Looks a bit foolish for it, but Zai was right there to try and trade back and simple sprays found him. The first favorable round we've seen Na'Vi find. It's not done yet. It could be now. Good tag from Flamey's put Navira on notice. And they're probably going to charge that bomb into a wide open B site unless RPK is going to confirm Flamey and frag Flamey. Electronic, frag leader of the server, looking to trade back. Is Masuta surely not going to be staring at this? Yeah, no way. Oh my god, he does check it. So it's good frags. It's an upgrade for Masuta. He'll take an AK-47. I imagine it stops there. Not tempted to try and make it hurt a little more. Not at all. So just to recap, Chad, I got the SEO message. Your fragging totals. Here we are. Best of five, highest frags on record. Elige 128 at ESL1 Cologne NA versus EG. Flusher 127. Nico 121 in Katowice 2018. And Twists 120 at ESL1 New York 2018. Nico 180. So the highest is 128. Now, Simple was well on track. 
finishing map three at 81. Yeah, I think he had 17 on overpass, and here he has only, uh, I think it's five or six kills so far. So make that seven. Would need to get back into the 20 plus form. And if you look at the filter for top 30, it changes. There's an even higher record set by Mertz. You remember that guy? Jeez, uh, not too many people can forget that guy. Splashing the plan Orpa that we had uh, a couple years ago for the Danish scene. 148. 148. That was Heroic versus Tai Lu at the Toyota Masters Bangkok. I forgive you if you don't remember that one. I will forgive you too. Simple. Taking a bit of an aggressive look towards middle and the flash were enough to deter Nevera's hold. Electronic bopping into apps early. Perfecto challenging out on Banana. He'll have to stand his ground in the flame. 68. Apex is trying the same move again, and it's the same result. Saiwu so not going to try and trade off that this time, and instead it's Masuta who's shut down the apps lurk. A big frag again from Masuta, stepping up when it matters. Into Banana. And does deny the info. Nevera's rotated in. Surely not a dry look. There's Util being dropped. Flash. And a frag all the same. Perfecto's down. Zywu peeks in. Good placement. Boomich walks through. Gray screen. Another. It's all onto simple. Backs away for the fresh mag. Bomb's committed to B. He's got a minute to work with and he's Locked getting in. flanked by two members. Forward is the only way he can go. 12 bullets before the reload's required. Nevera's holding the cross. And as it fades, Nevera misses his shot. Not going to make the same mistake twice. That's another round determined almost exclusively through the frags of the newcomers. Nevera with one. Saiwu with two, but Masuta also finding a crucial opening frag on the uh, app's lurk. That's the one I'm talking about. And he's not good for Navi here. Already down 14 to 5. I don't think there's too many options left for them in Inferno. They might just force in and give it a crack. Having a battle down from uh, 15 to 5, it's no easy feat whatsoever. And Jesus, it feels like every time we look at these cameras, there's some more people in the background. The AK will be out for Perfecto. It's Deagles for the others and just some Tech 9s. Utility's okay. Space taken towards Banana again. And oh, they're under so much trouble. If they wanted to hightail it over towards A's, I was already putting the screws in here. Ooh. Takes down the AK and that's already dropped. Oh, the one shining light in the round was the AK-47. He doesn't get a chance to use it, and Zywu just disappears in the puff of smoke. He's already actually at CT spawn. <laughs> Simple's going to get the AK rotation. at least, but I, I feel like there's nothing that Na'Vi can do. They're being dictated to in this game, and it's felt ev that way ever since Overpass. Like, yeah, they haven't is... been able to get into fights, haven't been able to get into mid-rounds. That CT aggression recipe, it's easy to summarize it and make it sound simple, but definitely an oversimplification. <laughs> of how Vitality have managed to nurture a lead here, and such a convincing one. They were down in the dumps. Might just be the B finish. They have banana control now. They have enough utility to go for it. I know they were destroyed last time they went for the look, but... Oh, good timing on the nade. That's... Softens them up. It's all great. Yeah. Feel like a bit of a broken record at this point. They've cancelled the mid-round aggression. You can see that stance switch. Immediately, it's instead the smoke defense. I think it's because they're at the 32nd mark. They'll be able to drop it. Shaves so much time off the clock. It's practically a gray screen. They have to wall in. In he goes. Oh, Boomich is gone and the spray's good. Softens up Electronic. A fresh mag found. They're pushing in and the Apex has fallen. Zywu now has to be the hero. The rotate's coming in. Electronic's hunting him down. Forces him wide. Forces him to be exposed to simple. And now they've got the frag necessary. Electronic's oh. going to be dunked. That's the nade. Good stuff from Navira. Bomb to be planted by Flamey. And simple's found another on the hunt. Vera's hunt has found another though. Here we go. The retake's working. Simple can no longer contribute. It is Flamey's chance and he's taken a bit of damage on the first exchange, but it's enough for Flamey. Hunted by Masuta, Orp recovered and a sixth for Na'Vi. Simple did a lot there. It's the first time I've been saying his name in a while. Flamey's very lucky he won that round. He would have copped more than a mouthful after that from Simple if he didn't. He tagged him up in the smoke there. Like when they were both in pool, Flamey's turned around because he's so worried about this situation and puts a bullet in Simple. You're lucky he cleans up that round. It's a nice one to win, but all in all, there's such a lead from Vitality, and this is the T side of Inferno from Na'Vi. It's a grind at the best of times for them. It doesn't look anything like Nuke. It's not as easy for them to be as systematic. Simples onto the AWP, and Vitality have been forced on down just to these USPs. So you can see them here, still in spawn. There's nothing that they can really get up to. They're not operating with anything. They're playing this very, very safe, understanding the lead that they're working with here. You can see with like 3K, 3.2, oh, why haven't they bought into a Deagle or a couple of flashes? Only two rounds needed. Navi need another 10 just to, uh, well, that'll be picking up the map, another nine to take us to overtime.
They haven't put down enough evidence for me to believe in that. Vitality, a conservative finish. Score for the second half alone is 3-2 to two as it stands. It will be the 3-3 three to three as Na'Vi look to convert the Rico. So out of the last, what are we looking at here? 22 plus 20. Out of the last 42 rounds of Counter-Strike, I think Na'Vi have only won 12. Jeez, there's a change in momentum if ever I saw one. We'll get away with this one. We can see here it's just the five USPs playing together, trying to pick up a kill or two, see if they can scavenge an AK, just make it costly for Na'Vi. They don't even, you know, you don't even have to offer up the deaths here on the CT side. You can stay alive. Boomich might get a rude surprise if he rounds this corner without any support. Yeah, they actually do have a single flash on Boomich. He's going oh, go to go back to something up. It, yeah. Oh, a boost? There you go. This could be a MAC-10. Party. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. $1,200 stolen away. So we did get the frag, though, and he'll live to push in Maybe simple not. flick. Maybe not. Yeah, not the Mac 10 grabs, going for the wall bang. Doesn't want to go down. Simple as he hits the no scope. I think he dinked in midair as well. So a little bit of argy bargy right there, but 14 to 7 is the scoreline now, and Vitality are buying back in. That conservative approach, well, it's netted them. A reasonable gun round. Vera's tossing up the glass cannon or the M4 armor. He goes for the more defensive option. There's no kit here as well. So if we do get into a post plan, it might just be another save from Vitality. And we would be expecting that with the percentage CS in play. A little bit light on some of their nades here. Na'Vi need to convince us, though. It's been two blowouts in back-to-back -back maps. This Zywoo. is fast. Yeah, it's very fast. And the boost is good. Zywu has to stand his ground on B. A necessary trade. He's found that. And he's seasoned in Sendry, so he drops one early. Scoops it up. And will maintain that. Hasn't forced a rotation either. They're just banking on Zywu to be able to hold the side on his own or at least grab another. Three players towards top mid. Vitality doing a great job. They lost banana control, so they get brackets control. And they can hold on to this with the smokes of Navira and Masuta. Still two more to lob on out. The gap in the A setup's Balk. They're coming, Boiler. And now the multi-kill comes in. It favors Vitality. Simple trading nicely keeps it level. Smoke on the arch. Navira's locked out. Zywu continues to be a thorn in their side on B. Simple set up for a one versus two. He's enabled to plant. And he positions himself towards Pit. It's Zywu and Navira looking for a 15th for Vitality. And they only have to get through one man. Have a molly for his position on Zywu coming arch side. Navira even has a smoke and a nade. This would put them on the map point for a fifth. Simple. Finding his first. That was the healthy Nevera. Zaiwu has to clutch up. It's Zaiwu versus Simple. One on one in the grand final. He's looking very good for the clutch. There's just no time and he gets the no scope. 1v2 keeps Na'Vi afloat. It was fight or flight. He fights his way into an eighth. Of course, the stylish finish here from Simple. The no scope. No, you know, not going to go for a, a normal kill, mate. Get off just me. Just going to give him one of these. Look at that. Look at that. Just making it look way too easy. And they're keeping him in it right now, Simple. If he comes alive in this second half, he can make up for that lackluster first half performance. Electronic was leading the charge on 17. Still is, but Simple is now starting to catch him. 14 kills and it's much needed. Perfecto even with a great entry towards Banana there. And he's down the bottom with seven. So the impact being felt as Vitality take a timeout, discuss their options. Things have been going picture perfect up until this moment of the game. And now that they're finally having a couple of woes, they can work through these four timeouts. It's done. Be a P250 smoke defense for our 23rd round of play. Yeah, impact player is right. Three kills, two with within the clutch. Narvi's T side holds the lead. Just the slightest of margins. Vitality, they came into this half with 11. Stand at 14. Certainly doesn't look to be the round they'll do it. As that gap's getting towards the danger mark, we typically frame double digits is when the comeback starts to become real. Air quotes on real. Well, they've just double smoked arch side right there, Na'Vi. Two smokes landing on the exact same spot, so wasted utility. If they go in towards B, there's three players here. This is not going to be easy. Bit of a fumble. 
smoke enabling boomage to walk up to this point. And here he comes. Good flash. He's a free death. Freebie for them. Nice from Boomage. He's got the good moves, evades the P250. The pop flash was perfect from Electronic, and now they have the sight. It's very lucky to get away with that one there. See everybody blind as he enters. The bigger gun prevails, and now it's just what damage can they do? Vitality still hanging around. Apex is tucked in towards that construction position. Two towards CT spawn now. If they get a little bit hungry, a little bit horny, Navi might give away some guns. The barrel's been spotted. Yeah, but Simple peeks into it. It works beautifully, and ah, Apex has been rumbled. We have a clean five kills for Na'Vi. Okay, 14 to nine now. We're starting to get a competitive affair here. Sure, it's massive streaks of rounds, but Na'Vi... I mean, it all switched when Zywe went mad down Banana, gets an opening frag, and they still converted. Na'Vi building upon that. Overcoming these man disadvantages is something Na'Vi do incredibly well. Boomich is going to start feeling the uh, the marathon element of a best of five. You've got to keep coming up with good ideas, new ideas, make the right call on map four. Barrage is the fifth. Not a huge amount of intent behind this one early from now. So much util though. T and CT Molly's laden on the banana floor. And yes, Apex continues to deny a lot of banana control. This is key for them. They've wanted to get away with this time and time again, Vitality. They saw the trajectory of that smoke, so Boomish Molly's them out. Apex has to fall back, and I think better of this. Ooh. Gets out, but that presence, now that that smoke was dropped, Boomish's Molly will dissipate, and they will not know if top bottom of Banana is under the CT control. Flamey trying to find some space, but only operating with a MAC-10. Needs to be careful. The long-range duels will favor Nevera, and the rotations come over. Four players over towards A now from no Vitality. No one has helmets. The MAC-10 could bang if he gets some precise headshots. It's not as much of an incumbent as it could have been. Oh, aggression. An electronic, robotic in the reaction. He gets one, but Navira very quick to trade. Takes down one of the many cogs in the machine, and he's actually doubled up. He's caught Flamey on the reaggress. Practically channels them into B. You can see Apex is even floating with the rotation, and I think Navi are all too aware of the potential for a floating rotate. Apex in limbo. Bogdan's law, Perfecto given the orb. 24 seconds now, really running out of time. RPK and Nevera. Don't forget, he's already got a double here, the Belgian. Tucked in on towards Coldzera's box. The crossfire's strong. Who's gonna blink first? 12 seconds. Navi, you've run out of time, especially now. That's all the frags they needed. And finally, Vitality break their silence. 15 posted, and it's off the back of Nevera. Their Inferno substitute. 21 on one of his two maps. Yeah, looking to get that average. Nevera, we've been... Monitoring his progress. This is such an interesting experiment that Vitality are currently running. The only team to grab a six man this year and make it work in such fashion, rotating between the maps, and it's paying off right here. That endurance factor you were talking about with Boomage, it's not so much a worry for Vitality knowing that a couple of their players, Masuda and Shox, they get a chance to sit on that bench, take a map off, relax. Conserve some of their energy, but we get back underway. Round number 25, scoreline 15 to 9. One more for Vitality to take us all the way. Mirage is coming up next. But does no RV have anything left to say about oh, it? They're going through the molly. They're taking some chances. Oh, and it's just come up trumps for Masuta. Both of them fall. This is Inferno in the bag. Simple's in the smoke. He's been caught by the spray. Navi running out of players. Running out of chances, Perfecto extends an olive branch in the frag on Apex. He wants to take that space. He knows he's got to take a chance. They tried to just throw caution to the wind, charge through the molly. They re-incendiary on top of it. They had the call. They knew what was coming. It's been handled with poise. Will he handle Boomich, though? Yes, is the answer to that. And with one more pull of the trigger, Vitality will have closed a 2-0 deficit in a best of five. They ha are on track for a reverse sweep, something Na'Vi are familiar with. Astralis gave them that treatment. Na'Vi starting so strong. Perfecto does adjust into RPK. He's definitely sharp today, but it's the end, at least of Inferno. Certainly not the final. Vitality, a new lease of life. And we see a 4-5. IEM Beijing still does not have a champion.